Hey, how's it going? So, I haven't really talked about the writer strike. I know I'm a little late on the subject. It's been going on for a little while, I'm aware. Um, I guess it's not really a text story, per se. And also, to be honest, so many people have said really great things about it. And where do I fit in? You know, Zay Frank, he kind of came out of retirement for it, which is neat. Um, and how do you top him? You can't top Zay Frank. No, not at all. So, I'm talking about it now, though, because, well, you know, at first it's kind of an abstract thing. You sort of, I mean, intellectually, I'm rooting for the writers. They need more money. I'm kind of a writer myself. I mean, I like to think of myself as one. And uh, one day I hope their concerns are my concerns. So I support them in that sense. But it's kind of abstract for me. Uh, I don't really watch that much TV anymore. And uh, I haven't watched enough movies in the last while. I've hardly seen any. And uh, that production cycle's years, years long. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you won't even really feel the pinch of the movies until like 2008 or 2009. Um, but you know, as with everything, once you find something that makes it personal, something that affects you personally on a very deep fundamental level, you feel involved, you feel invested, and you have to sit up and you take notice. See, here's the thing. I thought that, I mean, I assumed that if the strike went on for long, the shows would just simply be delayed by a couple months. So the production cycle of like a Lost or a, a Desperate Housewives would simply be put off for a month or two or three, but then it would keep going as normal. You know, like if a, uh, a sporting event is delayed by rain. But no, apparently it turns out they could be canceled. Like when a sporting event is canceled by rain. And this is unacceptable. I need me some Battlestar Galactica and excuse me, Mr. Not the Writers Guild, but the other people involved, the producers? Damn you, sir, if you deprive me of my last season of Battlestar Galactica, there's only one more coming. I will hunt you down, every single last one of you, once I figure out exactly who's involved in the strike. You give me my Galactica. Mr. Moore deserves to be able to finish to tell his story. Stop the strike. Give in to the writer's demands. No! I need closure vis-a-vis -vis the Starbucks situation. Oh, she's so pretty. She's got a face. You know, Ron Moore says in commentaries, he says, you totally know why you'd fall in love with her. Oh, man, that's so true. She's such a sweetie. Ah, <sighs> Come back, Starbuck. Come back! So say we all. That was my Edward James Olmos.